This is for the Maroons and the Blue Mountains of Jamaica. This is for all my Native American moors of Turtle Island just minding their business in Canada until all this colonization bullshit. Riley! My bad, auntie. Chill, this is for now. It's Mike Ross, also known as Mike on the Mic. The nation's sexiest comedian, the nation's number one side nigga, and the nation's only stripper comedian. Ladies, I'll be torn and I'll be live in a city near you. Make sure you're in the building. Make sure you purchase your tickets. Don't miss out on another amazing sold out show as always. Looking forward to seeing you there. That's dope. That's what I said. I was like, wow. Yeah. And at first, I, I never wanted an Oscar or anything, but I said, you know what? I'm getting me one of those golden gloves. And I was like, why are they over here slinging mud about this nigga shit? Nobody even know about this. Right. It's like a distraction from a chimp. Like, wow. <laughs> like, that's deep. I, 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 you know, I was like, you know what? I'm, I, I think I, I want one of those. Now, do you you know the criteria of that? Like, do you have to have a special on, like, a, a television platform? or? or I, don't, I think it's just a special. It might be Netflix. And I, I don't think it needs to. Netflix didn't come up with the special. I mean, right. you can have a Netflix on on HBO. You do a movie. A special generally meant a, a statement. It was almost like a thesis. A, state, a special was like your thesis. Okay. Your master thesis. It wasn't just, hey, y'all, where y'all from? If you notice, if you if you did it right, you only had to do it once or twice. Uh, Rich Pryor has maybe two. Yeah. Uh, Eddie Murphy has two. Bill Cosby has one, maybe yeah. two, but really one. Um, now they were doing it like they were just, you know, ninety nine cent. You know, uh, I heard the chip say, "I've got twelve specials," but one of them funny. Right. You know, and one one of them is only thirty seven minutes long, so um, that's not really a you know uh, you know special to me. I mean, Chris Rock has specials, right? So let me ask let me ask you this: Do you think that in that situation, are they going to be whitewater? Are they are they going to actually allow? Some dope specials because, like, all right, for example, Ali Sadiq. I think Ali Sadiq is coming out with some bangers, some specials. Bangers. Ali Sadiq is so cold blooded. It's so so crazy, but so with somebody cold. like that get the I recognition. Think he, he he would be one to get. I don't think they're biased on the um, I think it's just a class thing, tell you true. And I Ali falls right up. You gotta understand, Ali been around, but he his first um was uh when people started noticing was on um comic comedy. Um, the comedy channel, whatever it's yep. called. Yep. And they gave him love yep. first. And the place he was informing are not just nigga places. Right. They're, they're, they're just regular. He's a bad boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's a bad boy. Uh, um, so, yeah. He, 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 he would definitely be in line to get one. Trust me. He would be somebody I probably would compete you know, and this year, but I'm definitely getting one. I'm like, okay, all right. I see an end of the... Because the first was getting bored with this, but then it's like, okay, let's... You know, that's what the chimp said. Our face I has been in combat 32 years, and no... Because I ain't need one. I got 90 movies, fool. Yeah, talk about it. I got 90 movies. Uh, he doesn't... He likes to say I'm fat and ugly and this, but you know what? I'm a fucking star. Mm, yeah. A bona fide international, not just pamping, pamping, international. Mm. He can't deal with that. You see what, what I'm saying? What, yeah. If we can, um, where where the origin of y'all little few begin? Because I I don't, I don't know. It seems like y'all would be cool on a Friday franchise. No, no, no. You know, He's on the franchise. He's on the franchise. I'm on the OG. He, yeah. he, he actually said that. It face out so funny. Why wasn't he in the second Friday? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Why, why wasn't he in the first one? Mm. It's the OG one. Yeah. That's the first string. 
You in third string. Why wasn't he in the first one? He was around. So he's counting what we built. We built that so you, you have something. Right. Our our beef came from, and I'm going to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. Cat loves me. Mm -hmm. He loves my style. He loves who who I am, how I, how I operate. He's been looking at me from afar since he got into this game because he want to know who is this nigga. He can operate how he operates. He walks these streets like he, no, 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 I don't have no bodyguards, nigga. I'm really affiliated with the streets. Mm -hmm. I'm really, but see, he came in not with our, our wave. He came in with the trash wave. Our wave was Ricky Harris, Robin Harris, uh, Joe, Joe, um, uh, what's Joe's name? <laughs> Joe, Joe, what's Joe's last name? Joe, uh, not Joe Coy. You ain't talking about Joe Coy. Not the white Joe Coy's a, Joe Coy's a bad motherfucker. He's a bad motherfucker too, yeah, but I know you ain't talking about him. Um, no, no, no. Joe Coy's a newer, uh, a newer wave. Um, uh, you know, a little black Joe. Muscle black Joe. I'm in his town. Right? Joe, Tory. Joe Tory. Joe Tory. Joe Tory. Joe Tory. Tory yeah. black Joe Tory. <laughs> uh, uh, D.L. Hughley. Uh, 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 Chris Tucker. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, TK Kirkland, um, um, motherfucking, uh, uh, the guy that's, uh, 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 D uh Tommy Davidson, who's a yeah. beast. Animal. Animal, a yeah. beast. A um, question. I mean, just beast. This chip wasn't around. He, he, he didn't get on stage then. Because we wasn't allowing the monkey shit. You had to, you know, uh, Chris Spencer, um, uh, mm -hmm. Alex Thomas. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, JB Smooth, Beast, uh, Dougie Doug. I can. They, I know the bad ones on the because we used to have to follow them. Bernie Mac, mm -hmm. Jamie Fox. So, Cedric Entertainer, and Cedric is a, is just. After our wave. Okay. Okay. Who's a very nice brother. Very nice brother. I've never heard Cedric say nothing bad about nobody. Nobody. We always greet you with a smile and a handshake. Hey, face. <laughs> hey, face. <laughs> <laughs> the bad boy of comedy, face. Always a handshake and a smile. This chimp what if what's so deep about the chimp is the people that follow him, and it's every nigga who can't do anything in life. I see these people on the internet who can't put a show together like your show, and they just talk, oh, you see what it's here? It, it, he represents the people. Who, who are underachievers mm. um, to believe in Illuminati. Mm. To believe that Kevin Hart had to do what? Had to do what? I seen Kevin Hart work his ass off. I yeah. seen Joe Coy work his ass off. We, we, you think there's Illuminati that won't broke people? These People are, are not... They, Kevin Hart ain't got that much money. Do you know who have money? The people who created the iPhone. Mm -hmm. Jeff Bezos got money. If I'm going to be the Illuminati, that's who I want in my goddamn crew. I don't want no motherfucking comedian, no rapper who ain't got no money. Mm. Have you seen the billionaires list? Mm -hmm. There ain't many black folk on it. There, there's a black person there's, there's a black person on it. He ain't got nothing to do with no goddamn right. rap. Nothing. Right. So his energy. Seven billion dollars. Him and his wife. So why would they want some broke ass entertainers? Mm -hmm. 
They're not doing anything. They're not pushing anything. They're, he doesn't even know what Illuminati means. Mm. So all these fake you, you, you wear a dress and you in the Louis. Nigga. Mm -mm. Do you know how many motherfuckers suck dick in Hollywood? Sure don't. <laughs> no, we ain't there. We ain't Jersey. <laughs> but we, we've heard stories. <laughs> Listen to me. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta be from Hollywood to suck dick. These dudes been sucking dick all their life. Mm. Hollywood's just a safe place for them. Damn. But that's well, let me ask you this. Let, let me ask you this, bro, because you 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 see that right, and we've heard that that there's a uh, a weird energy in Hollywood that we hear that people like to do weird shit, suck dick, do all kind of stuff outside of their house and all kind of weird stuff. Does that correlate with the type of behavior that uh, associates with quote unquote the Illuminati? The homosexual Sucking dick? Shit? I mean, look, I don't know, bro. Let me tell you something, man. Do they suck dick in Newark? I'm sure they do. So what the fuck does that got to do with Illuminati? Doing it against your will, so to speak. Somebody that don't want to do it, they forced to do it. Ain't no I don't know, bro. Ain't nobody forcing us ever to do it. We also sitting here paying our own bills too. So what you think you gotta do in 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 uh see that that whole narrative is 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 um the victim's narrative that in order to be something, you gotta suck some dick. But what if you like sucking dick? How is yeah. that help? How is that hurtful? Mm. Do you, do you think there's women going? Hey, if you think there's not a a, a, a job where it's uh, listen, you got to eat Holly Berry's pussy if you want this movie role. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to stop eating the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the movie roll. Like, <laughs> is anything else you need done right here? <laughs> 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 anything else? Oh, man. You think these people do what the fuck they want to do? Hollywood is a place where is a circus where people run to and become who they want to become. Chimp Williams involves. He keeps this. Yeah, Kevin Hart had that. No, nigga, you, you the only, you the only underachiever around here. Mm. You, you're the one smoking crack on 59th in Denver. You, mm. you the one stealing a joke. He stole this whole persona from my partner, Mac Minister. What? Oh, yeah. He even told you on that little sh Say Say. <laughs> this show is called Say Say, by the way. Um, He told you on the Say Say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he told you on Say Say. He, he uh, had, to, I had to learn from a real pimp, uh, Mac Minister. No, you took that from Mac Minister. Who's a real pimp who's serving time right now? Mac Minister was a pimp who want, and we thought it was funny because he wanted to be a comedian and he would get on stage and just say pimp shit. But he was, you know, saying like, if a bitch, just because a bitch got on a championship, don't make her a winner. He would just say shit like that. And it was funny. And, and it, it was in Oakland. And, and he was, he was, he, it, it, it was, uh, the crowd was like, what the fuck? You talking about Oakland? They they used to pimps, and he was from San Francisco. So it was a pimping area, but people didn't get it. Cat in the Hat was the cat in the hat. Mm -hmm. Then he met, met Minister, then he became Pimpin' Pimpin'. Mm. How you gonna pimp and you scared of bitches? You don't like bitches. <laughs> Man. 
So when did this comedy beef kind of originate? Because like you, you were bringing up back in the day, like when we would watch Def Comedy Jam, we'd see some of the greatest comics walking, and we never had like, all right, this one's better than this. This we just enjoyed fucking comedy. You just enjoyed comedy. But when did but this when happen? The, when the suckers got in, like him, because they were so mad at looking at us. You gotta understand, he's been looking at us for years, like this, walking, going on glory. Because we had bad brothers. But this stuff came in because he think he wants to be a part of the streets. He can't be a part of the streets because he, he's always get, he getting beat up by 14 year olds. He can't be a part of the streets. He got mad with me because I told him he ain't going to hit no woman on my watch. Wow. Um, what you mean? We were on tour on, and he was beat, beating up. He was beating up his, um, his, his, his. I don't know what she's his stylist. I was like, nah, bro, we're not doing that. Wow. We're not doing that, bro. Right. At my business. No, that ain't my business. You ain't you ain't hitting a woman on my watch. Mm. And that's where it really started. And then he couldn't follow me on stage. He couldn't follow me. He thought I was going to just go up there and be, hey, I'm Big Worm. No, nigga, I really did. St- we did, we're going to do is Charlie Murphy, me, him, and Lunell. We're going to do a thing, un, un, un Rivera put together a thing called um, Outlaws of Comedy. The Un Un? The Jay Z Un? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. At one time, Un was managing him. Mm, right. Okay. And, um, he was living in a hotel with 17 cars, and uh, I was like, what are you doing? So we put together this tour, and um, he said, Faison's going to open for you. Faison's going to open for me? <laughs> yeah. Faison's going to open for you. And we all got together. And, you know, we uh, Charlie Charlie Murphy's on it. The first show was in Phoenix. I smoked him. And I, I released some of the footage. When after I got on stage, he came, ran around, started doing circles and push ups, did everything but a joke. Mm. Wow. And um, that's when he got into it with the essays in um, uh, Phoenix. Oh, I remember that. Yep. You remember that show? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a classic one. Yeah. Bro. So we like, bro. I mean, but the essays was like, yo, they was like, yo. Do you know what Phoenix is, bro? The whole parking lot was going. <laughs> mm. So he just started doing petty stuff. Like um, uh, I heard uh, recently, Ali Sadiq went to. And I, and I know for a fact, and I haven't even talked to Ali about it. I know for a fact, Ali went to the. Um, auditorium because he was told he was going to be on the show. That's the only reason why he gonna show up. Right. Ali is 100. He's the one he just he's 100 nigga. And he got there and, and Kat uh, told him they blocked him from coming in or some shit. I'm like wow. But the only reason why I know he was there because he was told to be there. And then um, they wrote him a check. It said thank you for your services. I was like no, that's some that's some chimp shit. That's what the chimp does. He's threatened by Ali. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So I was like, I know for a fact Ali wouldn't show up to that set without being invited. Right. Because it's, it's not like and, and he was in Houston too. He's a crowd favorite. He's been rocking Houston for years. Mm-hmm. That's where he's from. He used to open for me and then go across the town and do another show, his own show. Wow. Been like that. Him, the guy named Black Rob. I mean, trust me. So he keep, he keep talking all this. Ah, 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 ah. I was wondering, I was like, he, he really loved me. Mm. I was like, this nigga is in love with me. <laughs> do you really have a problem with him or is it just the antics that you want to do with it's just the like 
Because let me tell you something. There's two different. There's a Cat Williams and there's a Micah. Michael Williams is a kind brother. Face on. How can what what can how we can we brother face on? Face. You know, he, I mean, we were we were in um the mall. We just were on a tour, and we were in L.A. We were in the mall in um uh they had some Gucci vans. I was like, damn, I ain't never seen no Gucci vans. Right. I've been wearing Vans all my life. She's like, damn, Gucci Vans? And Cat said, what, what size do you wear face up? I said, I'm a 15. Do you have any 15? I'm, I'm just knowing they ain't going to say they got a 15. Said, yeah, I'm 15. They come out with the box. You put that with my eyes. No, I can't. You, I'm, I can't let you buy me no face on. <laughs> I'm buying you these shoes. Yeah, I can't let you buy me no shoes, bro. I, Kevin, he says, Kevin, face on. I'm buying you these shoes. You're going to look good in these shoes. They Gucci Vans. The nigga talked me into it. I said, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> he will give you the back, the shirt off his back. You seem like a good dude. I mean, from what we it, see. We ain't well known. When, when he's regular... Not on that shit. He's good. He's logical. He loves me. That's what I figured out. Me and my mother was watching. Said, my mother said, that boy love you. Because she see me going, fat face on. Why am I in this? Because it, it was nothing specific. He said, face on is a fat lie. <laughs> About what? Right. About what? He doesn't. He, he'd have a, a a special in thirty two years. And right. It's almost like him winking at me, like he's gonna be a special. Mm. But it roused up all these internet. I don't even know what to call these niggas on the internet. I guess niggas. <laughs> so so when when it happened when when he said your name, what happened for you? People started inboxing you, calling you. Tell us about the response. Oh yeah, my, my my partner was like, "Man, what's wrong with this man?" I was like, "What?" And you, I was I was I was in the hospital with pneumonia. I had pneumonia and um, oh, man. um, the flu. Damn, sorry. So that. I'm this weekend is my first show back. I had left um DC with pneumonia and the flu, and I was in the hospital. And um, the day I got out, people was like, "You ain't hear what this nigga say?" I was like, "What?" Been in the house, what? Oh boy! <laughs> I said, "What the fuck?" I'm like, "What? I haven't said nothing to uh, talk to this." And everything he said is is so turned up on his back, and it, 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 it's like, "What are you? What are you saying? What are you saying, Michael? What are you? Oh, you got a tour that hasn't been selling, but now you, oh, you, oh, this is your wrestler shit. You okay?" He's selling the tour. He's selling the club. Tour at club. Shay Shay. Um, <laughs> but but all the people he's t- like, yeah. um, I don't know the thing about Steve Harvey. I know um, the, my brother. Um, please forget my mind. I'm fifty nine. Um, uh, I talked to my um, this is my brother, man. Uh, uh, Mark Curry, yeah. If Mark Curry says Steve Harvey stole the joke, he stole the joke. Or Mark Curry been getting standing ovations since the 80s. Damn, he out of all of us, he was the first to have a TV show. Him and Martin, him, I mean, his came. Either before Martin or at the same time, because I was at the taping of his show. Hang on, Mr. Cooper. Yeah. Remember I was there. Uh, you hear me laughing mm. okay. at the taping. And uh, if he says Steve Harvey so joke, he so, but so, is that to say that one joke? I mean, you know, Steve Harvey has his issues, you know. Um, that's whatever. 
Bernie Mac was my guy. This is, Bernie Mac can have a stand up special. So what now? Yeah. So he, it, it, I don't know. He needs some help. He needs some. I don't know what y'all think of it. I, I, I thought he, he, the people. The, the scary thing is that these people really believe this nigga. He's talking the truth, Illuminati. There is no Illuminati, motherfucker. There is nobody that's helping po niggas. Uh, if you make it in this business, nigga, it's because you made it. There's some cutthroat people. There's some mean people in this business. Are cutthroat? Yes. But do you gotta suck a dick? Do you guys really believe that? As far as Illuminati, um, I feel like there's people, higher people in power that, you know, pull the strings and control certain things. Who they are, I don't know. Like, it could be, a, it could be, for, it could be like, you know, an exec somewhere at a certain record label or something that got power or, you that, know. That's just, that's just a rotten, listen, there's people in if you work at UPS, <laughs> yeah. there's a nigga working the schedule that's fucking with you. Right. Is he new? Is he Illuminati? Or is he just fucking with you because he's an asshole? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm gonna make this nigga work on Sundays. Only Sundays. Is that mm -hmm. Illuminati? What about the dress thing, though, man? Listen to me, man. Listen. Let, let, yeah. This nigga's wearing khaki suits, sucking all kind of dick. <laughs> These niggas wearing khaki yeah. suits. If they sag a little bit too hard, you're going to see they G string. Damn. Fuck the dress code, nigga. What's in the nigga's eyes? Your heart pumping water, Kool Aid. Mm. I don't look at a nigga dressed and go, oh, nigga, some of the best comedians. I'm going to tell you flat out. If Eddie Murphy said, hey, man, I got this, I wrote this movie, me and you in a dress, Robin Banks, and it's funny, I'm in the dress, Robin Banks, nigga. <laughs> flat out. I wish a motherfucker would say, he's on suction. <laughs> Just because you wasn't invited to the, the heist? The niggas in the movie with Eddie Murphy wearing a dress. He didn't tell Eddie Murphy that. Mm. He's in Norbit. He is. Not Norbit. Which yeah, one? Norbit. It's Norbit. Is it Norbit? Yep. Where where um the girl like I wish he would. Yep, or Eddie that Murphy. Rat, yep, that's Norbit. Okay, he's in Norbit. Why he didn't tell Eddie Murphy why the fuck he got a dress on? Mm. Mm. Only only why he didn't say that to Eddie Murphy right there. You rushed to be in a movie? Flip Wilson? What about Robin Williams? Miss Dalfire, yeah, that's been brought up. Okay, how about Dustin Hoffman? <laughs> what did he play? I, I don't remember him playing a woman. Oh, Great. Mrs. Dalfire. Mm. Do, not to cut you off, but do you feel like the proportion to white actors and black actors, you feel like it's more black actors slash comedians that have done it in comparison to white actors? Okay, let's just look at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, look, now, how many black actors are wearing a dress? Shit. Um, I have to pull it up. Um, I know people we've interviewed. Miguel Nunez. Kevin Hart. Kevin. You know, we never interviewed Kev. No. Kevin um, Ward. Ward, Kevin Ward for a skit in a Saturday Night Light movie. Right. Robert De Niro wore for a skit in a Saturday Night. Tyler Perry. Tyler um, Perry. Martin. Really, really, Tyler Perry's the only one besides um, uh, Flip Wilson and I would say Eddie, Eddie Murphy has made their mark at it. Right. Yeah. So three motherfuckers put a dress on. Jamie Foxx. 
Um, Jamie Foxx was Wanda. Come on, nigga. Wanda wasn't funny, nigga. Come on, man. It was. We was kids too. Like I don't, I don't know. I think it's something about us. That's true. And personally, I don't. I just don't feel comfortable watching that as, as a grown man, whether it's Illuminati or here's, not. Here, here's the problem. Yes, You've been told that that is a bad thing. Yeah. But but it's comedy. It's like if you're gonna put on a dress, you're gonna put on a cowboy suit. You're gonna put on a, a um. Uh, it's it's a it's a character, right? When 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 um um Jamie Fox puts on a goddamn dress and plays Wanda, the ugliest girl ever. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, do you know? Nigga, it's tears out my eye. when you you're just looking at the execution of it. Mm -hmm. It's 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 brilliant. It's brilliant, but I'm not looking at. Oh yeah, he he had to have, to put on the dress. You got to suck some cock. Do you, do you know who Rod Rock Rock um what's his name? God damn it! What's his name? God damn it! White actor. I can't. Rock. Still there, brother? Can you hear us? Can't hear you, OG. Can't hear you, brother. Hey, Zombie, we can't hear you, bro. You can't hear us either. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. You, you. Drop out and come back in. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. All right, we good now. All right, we good now, bro. I said one of the biggest actors of all time, Rock Hudson. You ever heard of him? No. <clears throat> oh, my God. I can't believe that. Rock Hudson was one of the biggest male leads in the world. Look it up. I pulled him up on his computer real quick. All right. Those white yeah, Rock on... Hudson. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Homosexual. Wow, okay. Not one dress. Mm. Not one dress. Died of AIDS. Wow. Okay. All that shit is is some make believe shit. Cause like I said, these niggas out here wearing khaki suits, sucking dick. And that goes for rappers, actors. So let me, let me ask you this. Yes, oh, my bad. Go ahead. No, you finish your sentence, bro. Please. So you, I mean, you've been in, you've been in sitcoms. I, not, cause correct me if I'm wrong. I think you were in the first sitcom with Kevin Hart. You were with Robert that, Townsend. You've been in yep. sitcoms. You've been in movies. You, you have touched the landscape when it comes to Hollywood. You've touched yeah. it all, right? Have you ever yeah. been approached by any director or anybody to have you do something outside of your character? Fuck that you were no. Like, wow. wow. Fuck on, no. I, really? Fuck no. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Who was asking it? I thought Harvey Weinstein liked bitches, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> so you telling me this old man want to suck your dick in front of your agency? And that's cool with the agency? Mm. All right, but the first role you did do, you was gonna get raped by another dude who said somebody was holding his nuts. Mm. Remember Terry Crews said somebody was holding his nuts? Yeah. Yep. Yep. But he didn't have no problem with doing a rape scene with one of the fuck little chimp, William. <laughs> yeah. 
Wow. He was he, he was trying to get at Chet Williams. Like, I got a hot fish on the line, nigga. You got a hot one on the line. Wow. <laughs> but the boy, you said the boy was holding your nuts. Now, let me ask you this. How long does it take for you to to move if somebody's holding your nuts. A nanosecond if I don't want it done. Sick nigga. What second? Knocking him out. Yeah, he's going to, yeah, not happening. <laughs> I'm threatened. You <laughs> telling me somebody got a firm grip? <laughs> <laughs> of the fact, and you were standing there like, wait a minute, here. Yeah. <laughs> It ain't in, it's, it ain't on you, it's in you. Mm. Man. You think somebody can go up to me and grab my nuts? Hope not. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> nah, we know that, bro. Yeah, nah. no disrespect. Come nah. on, man. I done been to jail. I ain't seen that in jail, homie. Mm. Right, that's different, some different shit. Yeah. Right. I, I've never heard a nigga say that in jail. You know, a nigga just came up to me and just started holding my nuts. Mm. You let him hold your nuts? <laughs> That's crazy. Mm. Have you ever heard that? Uh, you know, uh, they, they make you suck dick in jail. No, nigga. There's niggas in jail willing to suck dick. Mm-hmm. There's niggas in jail sleeping on their stomach. Mm. That's a fact. Mm. Mm. Um, but Hollywood yeah. is mm. the only place where there's cocaine. It's, it's, it's a land of uh, what they uh, what they call it uh Access. Oh, okay. Wow. Get anything. Get anything you want, huh? Anything you mother. I remember one time they used to have this thing called Doctor Doctor Who's Doctor Who's House. We would go there, and uh, it was basically uh, motherfuckers was in there fucking doing cocaine. And me and Chris Tucker would go in there and steal the weed because it was just drugs everywhere. And they would wow. have a, they would have a pile of weed. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you go in there and we'll be talking and scooping up the weed. Well, oh, okay, all right, and break the fuck out. Right. But some of the baddest women you ever known was in that motherfucker. They went to this motherfucker. Orgies happen in Hollywood. Yes. You have to want to go. Cocaine, addiction, it's all there. People run to it. But it's all in it's all in St. Louis. It's in Detroit. If I go to Detroit right now, I can take you to a after hours. The motherfuckers is buying pussy, selling pussy, doing cocaine. Have all that same shit, but you gotta want to go there. Mm -hmm. I get what you're saying. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. If somebody wanted to suck Cat Williams' dick, it's because he he had it in his eye. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> he gave him the invite. There you go. Mm -mm. That's what I'm saying. Ain't, ain't nobody ever. Ever approach me like, hey, Faison? <laughs> <laughs> they know me. No, that nigga was socked. No, he's not. No, it's certain parties you don't get invited to. Mm -hmm. Oh, he? No, he? Mm -mm, no, he'll fuck everybody up, or he'll rob everybody. <laughs> What about them Diddy parties, man? Well, speaking of parties, 
Let's begin with Diddy. Let's talk about Diddy, man. Let's say, Let me explain something to you. <laughs> I've been knowing Diddy since probably 97. Wow. We did, okay. we did his first movie together in 2000. Right after he got arrested for... Um, the shoot, shooting, don't you? Know yeah, you? right after yeah. that. I've never been to one of his parties. I never was invited. Hmm. But the niggas always treated me with respect. Because I guess the first time I was going to whoop everybody in their crew ass. <laughs> Ask Big Polly. Me and Polly was going to get into it. Ask Big Polly if you see Big Polly. Mm. We, from that day on, we developed a respect for each other. Mm -hmm. Because he thought I was just California. I was like, oh, no, nigga, I got roots around here. Nigga, you will see. And we can take this shit around the motherfucking corner, blood. I am not a rapper. Mm -hmm. So I've never had that. I know he had wild parties, but I wasn't there. Even what you hear about him? Filming, we what you hear about Say it again. My bad. I was saying, what'd you hear about the parties? I only had to hear about them. When I heard about the parties, it was bitches there. Right. That's Makes all sense. I heard. Right. I mean, because every you gotta understand, everybody in uh Hollywood is 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 uh is gay. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what <laughs> You know, right. you know that nigga gay, right? I'm like, I, I, <laughs> you, you know Superman, right? Let me, did you, you know he was gay? First of all, I don't know anything because I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And if I'm there, if I know a nigga gay, I mean, I saw him, him and two boys hunching. Why am I there? Right. Why am I there? It's to the fact now. Because all the new rules, see, one thing we did, you, pussy was very available in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. It, it was everywhere. Yeah. And that's gone now. You can't even look at a girl and be like, oh, hey, I like you. <gasps> you, oh, no, no. Lawsuit. Mm, yeah. Now it's all extortion. Oh, no. He said that he. Like my dress. What? <laughs> That's a fact, though. Yeah. That's what? We used to fuck in the trailers while doing a movie. <laughs> Damn. That's not illegal, mind you, because people think that fucking is illegal nowadays. That, listen to me. <laughs> that was the whole thing. Find an extra. <laughs> 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 Uh, you, bring, you bring the extra to, 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 to eat with you at the big table? No, you ain't got to eat that extra food. Come on, we here. We're, 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 we're have, we have lunch in my trailer. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's uh, real talk. I know it is. <laughs> they, what, what, what are they feeding you? Sandwiches? <sighs> Listen, we have steak and lobster. What, uh, can I get you a beverage? <laughs> Next thing you know, they not. Hey, Tom, we need you on the set. Who did it? Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, oh, we man. was man, listen to me. That's that's what it was about. Um, so the so allegations us. though. That's funny as hell. Say it again. Not the sudden allegations now. I listen. I, I don't even I don't even look at women on the set no more because right. It's it's hard to meet a, a young lady because it, it's just. I don't know if if it doesn't make sense to me with the girl with Diddy. She's been with him for 15 years, and then he, and now she's he's making her fuck. Right. You couldn't have just wrote a note, help. Mm. You mm. couldn't have just called your mama or your brother or your cousin, text him.
Get me out of here. Come get me. He can't fight. <laughs> he can't. He can't. Who, who else did he beat up? Um, Why sure. do we know? <laughs> Are you scared of a nigga who can't fight? <laughs> Well, see, this is why the internet's so dangerous because it's almost like before any fact ever came out, or before anybody can dissect truth versus false or whatever the case, that's he's what already I'm trying to tell you. guilty. It was dangerous. Yeah, it was, it was already there. They listen to chimps spread mm -hmm. lies based on opinion. Yep. Why the fuck would Diddy pay fifty million dollars to fuck Cat Williams? Hmm. And not Trey Songs? Wouldn't you fuck Trey Songs first? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Damn. Fifty what? million. You got your choice, I guess. <laughs> fifty million. <laughs> Take who you want. Let me pick the dirtiest. Cokehead crackers. <laughs> you gotta tell Diddy no. I don't know. I see. I find that suspect. Mm. I don't get it. I I don't. I'm like I don't get it. It's easy to throw somebody when they're already in turmoil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a fact. Yep. It's easy to yeah. say, oh, yeah, you know, he, he offered me some guy. He wanted to get me. He wanted to this snatch. Really? Mm. Okay, I guess. I'm a boy. <laughs> we were not in prison anymore, Damon. <laughs> 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 right, but Damon show show played that role of wanting to get 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 cat in there. Played it too good, too good. Yeah, yeah. but what's that scene was stolen? Actually, that scene is from um, Stir Crazy. If you, you ever seen movie Stir Crazy, heard about it. Never mm -hmm. saw it though. Well, that happens in the beginning. The cab driver gets stiff by this tall, big old tall dude. And the cab driver, a little short Puerto Rican dude, and he grabs some pliers, just like in that movie, scene for scene, all you, and grabs the, the man's nuts, and he's like, "What?" It? <laughs> mm. But um, yeah. You know what I wanted to ask? Mm -hmm. Taraji, Taraji, a couple of weeks ago came out and was speaking about after she talked about um, I guess in preparing for the premiere of Color Purple, was talking about obviously her wages and how she's treated in Hollywood. How do you feel like black women or women in general are treated in Hollywood from your experience? Man, that's such a... <sighs> Listen, let me say this. You get what you negotiate for. Ooh, that's a fact. That's a fact. To cry after there's so many black actors been working for years. I don't know what they get. I don't, I don't, you know, Gina Hall, who's I don't know what she gets. She's amazing. Yeah. But she was she was here before, you know. Uh how about I I I give you one. You know, she's um I can't believe it. I tried to think of her name earlier. Um uh, the woman, uh, oh my God. I'm, I'm you ever see Abbott Ab 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 Elementary? Yes. Uh, the elder black woman that is in the in that um, what's her name? She's a I'm teacher. About, I'm, about, I'm about to pull it up. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Oh my name. god, um, she's so good. You're um, talking about um, Cheryl Lee Ralph. Cheryl Lee Ralph. Yeah, yeah. She played on Moesha. Moesha. She's been around since 72. Mm. Mm. Killing it. Ask her, ask her. Has is she making and what Taraji is making? 
it's all really irrelevant. But I know for a fact, um, black actors are not um, paid, um, are treated differently. But that's not going to change until we change it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think her problem now, she got caught in the downfall of the industry. And um, I don't yeah. think, um, you know, the movie costs $90 million. I think it's made over what, 40 million. A movie's got to make three times that. It's got to make two hundred million dollars to even get into to be in the green. Wow. Yeah. It, it, yeah. And people ain't going to the theaters. And once it gets to the Netflix, it's a wrap. Yeah. Yep. So Ooh, that's crazy. Wow. Back in um, uh, <laughs> in in this business. Because everybody is on this whole a billion dollars, I'm gonna make a billion dollars in the three incomes, all that goofy shit. That's not what this industry is really for. I'm gonna keep it 100. This is the art industry. A lot of times you'll go unnoticed and you working just from check to check because uh, you. You're worth pennies on a dollar sometimes. You're not a superstar or you can't sell movies. Right. Especially now to be able to sell them. Kevin Hart's movie now is coming out on, on Netflix. On no, Netflix, yeah. Not on them Eddie on Murphy Netflix. Eddie Murphy has a movie coming out now on Netflix. Ain't Beverly Hills Cop, the next one, that's on Netflix. That's premiering on yes. Netflix. Yes. Yeah. How does that change yeah. the revenue? How does that change the revenue that it can make? Does it hurt it? Well, see, Eddie Murphy's always made. They need him to do that. So they, 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 his revenue going to be fine. He, he, uh, I mean, the movie on itself. Well, yeah. they, they, they need it as a, you ever see those <laughs> movies are now, you ever see that man blowing up like this, blowing in the way? Yeah. That's what movies are now for um, okay. um, streaming services. Yeah. Just to like, hey guys, we're over here. Yeah. They say, what? Eddie Murphy? Eddie, Eddie, yeah, I'm going to pay yeah. Eddie Murphy $70 million or anything he wants to do just to get, get some new subscriptions. They, it's, it's about oh, yeah. keeping subscriptions and new subscriptions. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That's sir. the game now. It ain't how much the movie made. How many people are going to Netflix? How many people are adding to Netflix? Um, that's what it is now. So Eddie Murphy, who always had a standard, they're going to say, Eddie, we have a slow moment. Well, can you do another Beverly Hills Cop? Well, if you got you know two hundred forty million dollars, I can do it. All right, write that check, guys. Okay. Yeah. 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 Eddie, we have this, this Christmas movie. We 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 are kind of like it. Okay, you you got <laughs> 70 million? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna get it. Yeah, that's crazy. That's a lot of fucking money. But it's Eddie motherfucking Murphy. <laughs> yeah. His movie still his movies is always made money. Now we're in a whole different realm. We're we're in um this this realm. He he's a great whatever that thing is. Mm -hmm. Um, Shirley Ralph is on a network television show. Mm -hmm. That's winning I Emmys and Glow and Globes and all kind of stuff. Award winning show. She won a she won one. Right. Yeah. So. She can use that chip to go, hey, you know what? What did the cast of Friends get? Oh, they got a million dollars. Okay. She got that chip. Right. 
Got a phone call. Might not be able to hear you again, OG. You might have to come back out and come in. We can't hear you. Back in here, yes, sir. Yeah, we can hear you, brother. Yeah, man. Somebody be uh, next time. I should do this on my laptop, man. I, I, you know, it's all good, man. You on the road? So, you about to go? Up, my bad. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. I was going to ask you if you, you was on tour. You you on the road doing your thing right now? Yeah, I'm in St. Louis. This is the first time back since I've been sick. I've had to cancel a bunch of shows, and right, I, I never thought I'd miss it this much. I was like, damn, I miss you know, because I was like, you know what? Let me get off the road. And let me just. Pick it, you know. I got a kid now, so right. Want to spend time with her, and um, when I can. Um, but yeah, this is this is gonna get her. You <laughs> put Whitney Houston that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I was> <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my next question to you. I was like, man, it's funny you said. I was like, what keeps you like loving this game so much, man? And you stepped away from from a while. Now you you realize you love it so much. What keeps you going, man? It's just um, uh, be honest. People like yourself and people I see on streets, because you know I'm a I'm a person to person guy. I'm walking the streets and mm -hmm. by my, you know, and, and and people are like, man, you know, we you know, and they really fuck with me because you know they. It's not like some old, hey, uh, it's hey, face on. Uh, they really feel they know me and they talk to me like that. Um, right. Right. Um, first time I ever said I was a star on this thing right here. Cause sometimes I, you just gotta let when sleeping giants wake up, like nigga, you want to really see who I am? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But it's like, yeah, that's, it is what it is. So let me ask you this: It's like an interview, like what what uh, Shannon Sharp did with Cat. Is that like a I don't want to say does it motivate you, but does it put some fire back on you, like to remind people of who Faison is? No, no, you give no, a shit about that. No. Yeah. no, it's 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 the audacity. Yeah, like, you think you can just say my name and just in the boy same time? Why are you throwing Faison on the bus? I don't know if that was an act. Like are you throwing Faison on the bus? I'm like oh, that was planned. That was like, well, do you know really? Shannon? <laughs> no, I never met him. Yeah. But my homie played on the same team here, yeah, but Terrell Davis, we from he from my neighborhood. Oof, that's that's my, my man. Boy, I remember watching him back in the day. That's a child. Yeah. He a winner. Yeah. Yeah. From my neighborhood. I'm yeah. So um <laughs> did you send me to Terrell? Huh? I think yeah. you just touched me so no, I thought Somebody text me. Oh, no, nah, I didn't know. Uh, oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I've never been on Say Set. Um, Ricky Smiley, who's a good guy. I don't I don't know what the beef is. Some kind of way. My mother was saying he's winking at you. He wants you to do. He's trying to motivate you. I was like, motivate me by calling me a fat liar. She said, I don't understand that part. But <laughs> right, <laughs> you ever said what you lied about? I'm like, what? What cat is? Uh, he's a a rebel rouser. But you got to be careful. With the people you you know, the people on the internet are just really just out, out of this world. Yeah, he he said it. He his, 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 his. 
I told um, there was an interview where somebody asked me who I think the most overrated was Cat. I I've never personally thought Cat was funny, and that's just me. No way. Let's see, we thought we thought Cat was funny. I ain't think Kevin not, was not funny. never Kevin ever was ever. Wow. Because I come up in a different threshold of comedy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where you had to be funny, not just say funny things. <laughs> and with a voice. You had to be funny. You had to be able to get on stage after Robin Harris and kill it. Have you ever seen Robin Harris get on stage? Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Without question. Yes, we So ma imagine having to get on stage after him. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have to come that. with it. You have to come with it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You have to come with it. Like Homeboy couldn't have did that. Right. I can name everybody who did. Damon Wayans. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Torrey, D.L. Hughley. D.L. Hughley introduces Robin on Robin's live tape on his live album. T.K. Kirkland. It's a, uh, um, I can go on. But there was a tear of comedy. That they couldn't get on that stage. Like, man, move out of here, please, nigga, move. Would you put Kevin Hart up there? Because I don't personally, I don't Kevin see him in that funny tier. now. Okay, okay. You see, Kevin, to me, mm -hmm. I've seen Kevin. I was on that show that Kevin yep. first did, yep. and I was wondering why. Why the producer got me doing a show with this nobody ass nigga? <laughs> I was I was grouchy and like I was I was talking shit like I was talking so much shit to him. Uh, <laughs> I seen him walk away from me one day, and he had that look like he kind of bowed his head. And some said, "Come on, Faison, that's just wrong." Right. I mean, I was because I was I was giving him the blues like nigga, what the fuck. <laughs> But the more I hung with the nigga, the more I I I, I loved him. Right. He was he used to beat my ass in um, football every day. Uh, quick, <laughs> where I would get up and just take the plug out. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, he's doing the video game. <laughs> <laughs> with that Xbox, oh, this nigga would whoop my ass quick, Mike. <laughs> But he was all he's always been authentic. Right. He's always been that Kevin. Fuck. And what and what like what I said when I first saw him on stage, I'm like, what? What is this? I remember the producer, hey man, can you go do some cocaine, whatever you need to do to get ready, man? What the fuck? <laughs> That's it. But I've seen him build and build and build. Kevin set up my Twitter account. He told, I'm like, what the fuck is Twitter? Mm. No, you're going to need this. See, he used something else. Um, he used the internet to for, for his allies. Yeah. Him and a guy named Dane Cook. Mm -hmm. They found that. And it was like, oh, I was like, I don't get it. What? Why do I need to tweet people? Right. No, show them what you're doing. For what? I'm not showing nobody what I'm doing. He showed a whole new thing. Kevin is stays in his lane and does his shit and is and very good at it, obviously, because they keep yeah. paying. For sure. For sure. Chris Rock, same way. They yeah. listen, Dave Chappelle called me. I was in this town. He's like, bring your ass over here, nigga. Come see, the, come see the goat, nigga. <laughs> That's funny. Come so. drink yeah. with the goat, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we get along. Or a lot of these niggas. But everything I'm gonna say is factual. D. Ray Davis the other day, he was on TMZ. He was mm -hmm. like, no matter what, no matter what the beefing is, y'all all can pick up the phone and call each other. Is that true? Could you pick up the phone and call Cat? 
cat knows damn well he can call me. Right. And he owe me 50 grand. Uh-oh. <laughs> D-Ray Davis, man, come on, man. D-Ray's a bad boy. Yeah, he is. I've been yeah. on D-Ray for years, man. Mm -hmm. We was doing this movie, D-Ray Davis, called Play. Next time you ask about this. It was this actor on the set, right? He was a star. He was the lead. Right. And uh, <laughs> a lot of times, I'm a little messy. So it, the scene, it called for me to talk down on him. And then the boy was supposed to talk back on me. And I'm supposed to, you know, reprimand him. Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of times, I don't like doing no rehearsals. And this is kind of fucked up. But I'm figuring this boy's a boy. He's tough. So, action. He says it. I snatch him. <laughs> I snatch him. And I said, don't, don't you ever talk back like that. And, I, and he goes crazy. I'm a whoop at ass. I'm a whoop. Don't you ever talk to me like that, right? Oh, man. And D-Ray is just laughing, right? Because the guy's like, don't you ever touch me like that. I'm going to whoop your ass. The director said, are we okay? I said, yeah, okay. Do we need to do it again? He says, yes. The director goes, do it just like that. <laughs> yeah, it worked. <laughs> Action. Smash him up again. And I'm like, <laughs> right? He doesn't go off. He doesn't hit me. He doesn't. He does exactly the opposite. I'm like, Dear is like, well, you right there, you can hit him. <laughs> no. And uh Dear is like, nigga. <laughs> yeah, but uh Cliff Cliff Clifton Powell's there too. It's what we did call play. Um that boy hates me still today. <laughs> I've got a head full of hair like me. I wish you would, nigga. We acted. Um Yeah. Yeah. I got, I got, we, we're not gonna hold you too much longer. Definitely appreciate your time. I know I got two more questions for you. One, yeah. um, like, like we said earlier, you've been in TV shows, movies. What was like your the role that challenged you the most but got the most gratification out of the role that challenged me the most? Um, the role that challenged me the most. I, be honest, I don't. Uh, and the most gratification, all these roles are like babies to me. And at the beginning, they're all difficult because you got to figure out which angle you're coming at them. Right. Like the chimp said, is he always doing a movie with his shirt off? Well, that's kind of weird because he's always playing a pimp. So what? the fuck are you talking about? Right. Does that make sense? Or not? That doesn't make sense, you guys? No, no, no. It makes sense. Yeah. Don't be listening. Yeah. Um, he says I wear, I always take my shirt off. Uh, is there a reason for me to take, I do that, number one, personally, because I'm proud of my body. It's a joke to me, because everybody thinks when they take their shirt off, they got to have a six pack. I'm like, fuck that. Mark. We thought it was Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> we thought that's why you was doing the fact. They got him. Got got Illum him. Illuminati said, "Take your shirt off, please." <laughs> Fuck that, no, uh, you know, you know who told me to take my take. It was it was Tracy, uh, Tracy um, Morgan. No, <laughs> I thought that came to my mind too. That's the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> Tracy Morgan, better not. Hey, you know what? He, <laughs> hey, listen, Tracy Morgan, that was his thing, the street. We go, there was this club in Brooklyn called, I think it was called Sugar Hill. And we go there after Saturday Night Live. We got a bunch of women in the car. And this nigga says, everybody get naked. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, pull this motherfucker over. <laughs> <laughs> we had so much fun. Um, Tracy Edmonds. Okay. You know how fine she is. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. 
we did a movie called Who's Your Caddy? And she's like, face on it. There's a scene. Da, 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 da. I said, oh, yeah, that sounds funny. I said, are you going to be there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. hmm. Let's see. I think she even put oil on my on my legs. Oh, you need some oil right here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So there's a scene of us at the at the, at the and it's uncomfortable because uh, uh, we're at a. Um, I mean, it's not uncomfortable, but for me. In the scene, it makes the scene, the people uncomfortable in the scene. Because we, at the thing, and you know, but yeah, Tracy Edmonds is right there watching me. And I'm like, yeah, you must like what you see. Mm. That's for her. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's for her. That's me saying to her. Right. So, I, I've been just having a blast with this stuff. Um, my my challenges come with writing and, and directing. Like, what do I want to um, write and direct? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's what I'm. You know, that's what I'm uh, finishing a script. Uh, and what kind of script do I want to direct? Because I, you know, it's, uh, it's you know, I see a lot of bad directing. And um, and it's funny because there's a lot of great acting. It's like, damn, these people are really getting these new actors are really good. So, but I have I, I, um, each each role. I read the script and I put it down, and I come back and look at it. And I jot through it again and go, okay, what are they saying right here? Mm -hmm. and I don't like to memorize it because. Uh, it gets boring to me. Mm. It was, a lot of times your character actor, you're delivering a lot of water, what we say, delivering water, you know, to give water is information. So why did they go over there? Why did they do that? We must go find the... That's hard for me is delivering information like that. Like maybe the suspects came over here. And, that's why you see um <laughs> I see say, yo, hey, we see the perks. <laughs> <laughs> hey Cap, you know what that MO is? <laughs> it's like uh So you ad lib certain scenes? You pretty much have you ad lib certain scenes from movies? Oh yeah. I don't listen Friday. Yeah. The movie Friday, playing my money is like playing my motion came from a uh, Peebo Bryson song. Me and Chris Tucker would ride the set every day, smoking a joint, and listen to Peebo. Oh, and I was like, oh, nice. I'm going to say that. Oh, I'm saying that. Uh, oh, Big Worm going to say that. Playing my money is like playing my motions. I was like, ooh. That was cold. Yeah. And we, you know, we, that's 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 you know, that's what we, you know, it's, it's little sprinkles. Let's take the mm -hmm. script, little sprinkles, bam, right? You know, and that's what makes, you know, um, uh, which movie? Uh, I remember um, Chris was doing um, Jackie Brown with um, Pam Grier. Well, yeah, Pam Greer, but with uh, his scene was with uh, um, Samuel Jackson. Mm -hmm. He said, "Man, help me learn these lines, cause man, damn, Samuel Jackson like like to know every word. He want to say every word. <laughs> <laughs> he want to say every word to the damn script. Like he reads every you know verbatim, and um, that and that was different for us because we would go through the." In some movies, I didn't took out dialogue because I'm like, that's he's talking too much. Why is he talking all this? Yeah, I, get yeah, I did that with Elf. Um, uh, Will Ferrell character was, you know, when he says, um, "That Santa, I know him, I know him." I was supposed to be talking while he's saying that. And I was like, no, I'm gonna let him explode and just look at this nigga crazy because. Imagine in real life if somebody came and said they knew Santa Claus and tried to explain it to you. 
Let me get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. right. Yeah. <laughs> what? I know Santa. He lives down the street. We're all over there. I know him. <laughs> There's another black elf next to me, and I'm like, nigga, do you hear this? <laughs> I don't say it, but I say it with my eyes to it. Right, right. And that's the beauty of acting. Yeah. You don't always have to. The best movies in the world don't have any dialogue in it for about 30 minutes. Hmm. There's one movie out right now by the name of um, uh, Leave the World Behind. It's the one though Obama. On Netflix, right? It's like one of the best movies I've seen in probably about yeah. 10 years. I've seen it. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's really detailed. I don't understand the deer, but right. everything else I can get, just how they executed it. Like mm-hmm. I didn't like you didn't know if the black guy really owned the house or if he was, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. how they did it. Because our mind, they were playing with our mind, like, well, do we own the house? And but I knew. When they opened that cabinet and they tried, it was locked. They said, oh, it's locked. I said, oh, no, whoever opens that house, that's going to be a key thing. And they did it, executed. Oh, I have a key for the thing. Click, click. Boom, boom. But I don't know. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's really executed good. And I was surprised that came from them. Um, there's another film. There's a film with no talking in it called um, No One's Gonna Help You. I believe it's No One's Gonna Help You on uh, it's about an <laughs> alien abduction. Mm-hmm. You saw it? No. I've seen pieces of it. I know I'm familiar. Yeah, I never saw it. Yeah, this, this girl is fighting this alien and there's no dialogue the whole movie. Yeah. And it's good, too. Yeah. It's dope. Yeah. Those are kind of active pieces writing that kind of stuff and being involved with that, but you know, that's that's you know what I'm challenging. Writing some dope that you got to say, oh man, you oh okay, damn, damn, you know. You doing auditions for that? For me? I mean, well, at, for for the movie. Once you finish it up, are you gonna do auditions? You gotta have people in place that you kind of gonna have ideas. And- I don't know. Just you know, um, auditioning is. A corny <laughs> side. It's like it, it, you have to put somebody in a uh, on the rowboat where they're strongest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just to say, now can you row? You think you can row? Mm-hmm. You know what a per. You know what a per. You know, but yeah, but yeah, it's not auditions. Like you know, there's 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 somebody for it. There's a there's there's heavy lifting and there's light lifting. Mm-hmm. in the film um, for people who want to be in it. That's why I tell everybody because uh, everybody just claims they think they know about the film and they have no fucking idea. You know, I, I want to be a, uh, a, I'm a I'm, this one girl told me she was no, no, I don't do that. I'm not a character actor. I'm a um, leading lady. I was like <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> fuck are you saying? I'm a leading lady. How do you know? Who told right. you that? Right. Because you got long eyelashes? <laughs> and how many opportunities Ask- you take away saying some shit like that? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They don't know. Ask Pam <laughs> Greer. She's been in this business for years. What, you know my favorite movie? Pam Greer did this movie that people don't even know about called um, Fort Apache the Bronx. <sighs> <laughs> You can't even find that movie. I own it because I've I've seen it, and I was like, oh, just back in the back in the days. And I was like, oh no, and I found the movie. But it's a brilliant movie. Pam Pam Greer is, you know, yeah. yeah. But but yes, my each one of these films, um, you start off and you strip. I strip it down. And I go like, how how is this character? How am I going to walk in this character? What is this character wearing? What is he uh, chewing? Um, um, 
you can ask once I'm in the character, you can't ask me a phase on love first. Mm. You know, um uh when I, we we did um couples retreat, mm. I like that role because I didn't play a black guy dating and that was in trouble. I played just a guy. Yeah. Right. Just a guy just having trouble with his bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, what the fuck? I'm old. <sighs> Every guy, you know, uh, I can't. Come on, girl. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Play that dude. Or you don't have to be. Listen, baby. I'm going to play a nigga who fair. Can't, I'm not, you, have to, you have to suck dick to play that role. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, well, what, what about all the other motherfuckers? You think Rick James had to suck some dick? <laughs> or even Prince. a fathom of Denzel Washington having to do that. Like, come on now. Like, I think, that's what I'm trying to tell you. How about Will Smith? <laughs> <laughs> on, nah, nah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Come on, Big man. Come on, man. This, I mean, just really. My whole thing on that is, you suck your dick because you want to, not because you have to. Right. You like it. You like the taste. Mm. Oh, thank you. Right. Appreciate hey, you. I'm, I'm with you. We appreciate you, my guy, for sure. Just to absolutely always picking up the phone, always giving us, you know what I'm saying, your 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 attention, man. We definitely appreciate you. You put Whitney Houston up there, man, which cracked me up. You got any funny ass Whitney Houston Bobby Brown stories that you can share oh with Oh my people? god. You know, Bobby's here? Bobby's my guy. You know that's my guy, right? Yeah. Oh my God. I remember um uh, Whitney used to host this thing at at um <laughs> Um, at the uh, Roxbury uh, karaoke, mm -hmm. and people would get up there and kill it. I mean, kill it. These girls were saying, "Yes, yeah, so and it's Whitney Houston doing with karaoke with a bunch of women in his pack." I get up there one day. <laughs> I want to rock with you, baby. <laughs> if they didn't take that microphone. <laughs> 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 Sit your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but lovingly though, man. That was the that was the good times, bro. We had some good times, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, some good you, you, listen to me. Mm. Bobby Brown. Come on, man. King RB. Yes, I yeah. She said yeah. it. She said it. Mm -hmm. I was there. This thing was. <laughs> 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 they say I'm crazy. Bobby Brown? Bobby's a problem. King. The king, nigga. The baddest motherfucker, nigga. You yeah. gotta say his wife was Whitney Houston. Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't they tried to diss him. They did diss him at his funeral. At her funeral. At her funeral, right. Yeah. He handled it like a G. Yeah, man. They got all these motherfucking fake ass niggas here. He telling me I ain't. Okay, I I'm I'm good. Cause he know the relationship they have. Right. Whitney Houston loved that nigga's dirty draws. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they was really Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Really Bonnie and Clyde. How's he holding up now? How's Bobby he's, holding he's, up? He's, he's, a, he's a bad, he's a, he's a survivor. He's yeah, a man. Winner. He's a yeah. winner. You know, he's, he's loving life. That's good. He's a bad motherfucker, man. We were supposed to have him one time, but 
as some shady ass dude through. facilitating that situation. Yeah, some dude. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? Who was who was his brother or who was it? Ah, uh, some dude that was like a booking agent. I think that... we talked to you privately about homeboy. He was also dealing with um who played these hell. Played played... Nah, like... the dude that played these hell. What's his name? Fuck his name. On that, Friday. Anthony? Anthony? Yeah, it, it was his last name. Johnson, he don't even pass. Yeah, his his yeah. people. It his was his people. it was his agent at the time. Oh my homeboy, nah, blood, yeah. nah, yeah. hell no. Yeah, 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 nah. yeah, 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 yeah. Hell no. No, that, yeah. I don't even know Bobby know him. Wow. Well, that's that's he got a few people though. He got some people that came through. Then he's like, he got Bobby, he paid him for it, and he, he ran off. What what see that was say, did you pay? Did you pay? Say what? Did you give him any kind of money? Yeah, on a few. It's like you know, ah, see, you know how it go. That, that no, it don't. No, and then the game, you know how I do it in the drug game. You somebody buy a couple things, then they dip off with your shit the third or fourth time. It was that type of situation? But that's what it was. He, he was uh, uh, oh, if you get, in order to get Bobby, you got to go get me forty five hundred. Let me go get him. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I can get that back for you. We got, yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's, we'll talk yeah. off off camera. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because that's uh. Yeah, no, no, he, yeah, because, yeah, he, no, 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 he don't know Bobby, he just, no, okay. not that I, know. I, I ain't never, you know, right. Bobby's like, man, it's my guy, yeah, my guy, guy. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Yeah, definitely appreciate you. Phase on love on the hip hop sense of podcast, brother. Man, just just thank you, man. Thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate you. We appreciate we didn't want to turn this into no bullshit. We wanted to have an honest conversation, a dope conversation. And I think we pulled that off, man. So we appreciate you, brother. I always don't have one, man. I always I'm just only shoot for my hip, man. I, I you know, I know I know I know I know what y'all think. I'm gonna wear the dress. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> for the Illuminati, nigga. <laughs> Illuminati got me wearing dress and drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Much love, brother. Yeah, man. Much love, brother. All right, man. Be safe out there, bro. <laughs> always, Peace. always. All right, All right man. Bro. Yes, sir. Phase on love on the Hip Hop Sensor Podcast. We appreciate y'all checking in. Peace. Peace.